And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. Today we're taking a look at Finn Billiards. Uh, I don't actually have the game here because the game is quite large. This is kind of a game that's like a ping pong table or shuffleboard or things like that. Let me show you. Okay, so here is the board. It's actually a pretty big board. And what you're doing in this game is you are trying to be the first person to get to 70 points. And so you have this device here that you can kind of move, maneuver in here. And you're going to put a disc on it, pull it back. You can tilt it up if you want to. And you're just trying to knock over pins. Okay, so that makes you lose five points if you miss nothing. That was a pretty bad shot. All right, so when you knock pins over, first of all, they're stood up exactly where they are. If you knock one pin over, that's how many points you get that's on the pin. But since I knocked over multiple pins, I get one point for each one I knocked over. So one, two, three, four, five. So then it's the next player's turn. We're gonna see Holly go, because I wanted someone to beat. Okay, so Holly would get four points here. So it's currently five, to four. So now I'm going to try to hit that six right there. I got it. So since I knocked only over the six, I get six points. So I have 11 points. And now Howie's going to go. She knocked over just the four. So that's four more points. So it's 11 to eight. Let's open this sucker up. What a shot that was! You thought that was a miss! That's four more points. I'm amazing, I'm amazing, I'm amazing. Your turn. I'm lucky. All right, well, that would have been great because this one's 10 and this one's 12. Unfortunately, it is two points. But you have opened up that. So I lose five points for missing everything. And Holly just got 12 points, la la la, who cares? But I'm gonna hit that save in 12 points. How'd that happen? Oh, good thing I have a backup disc. All right, so that's how the game works. Now, if you ever knock a pin over so it falls over here, then you have to put it back up on the line. It doesn't score any points. And if you ever knock a pin out of the thing completely, for whatever reason, then that pin comes and stands in this area here. So that's basically it. If you get to 70, you have to get to 70 exactly. So that's where it gets tricky. So let's pretend that this is where the setup is and Holly and I each have 65 points. So I need to get to 70. So I'm gonna try to knock over that five disc there. Instead I knocked over three, so now I have 68. Now I have to get, I have to get to 70, so next time I need to either knock over two pins or get the two. Holly is the same thing. She can knock over five pins or she can knock over the number five. Knocked over four pins. So next time, you just need to knock over the one. In fact, Holly's at a very dangerous place because knocking, the only way she can get points is by knocking over the one. What do I need to get now? The two or two pins. I think it's a straight shot there, though. I won't touch anything else, just the two. Okay, so now since I got four and that would take me over, instead of gaining four points, I lose four points. Also, it's not very polite to laugh at the other players. Just pointing it out for the general audience benefit. So Holly knocked over one, which is eight points. So minus eight. And that's how you keep doing it. You keep playing the game till you get to 70. Okay, so the game comes in this humongous box. That's the biggest problem with this game is storing it. So, you know, you gotta fit everything in. It comes with kind of a mesh bag, and it comes with these extra red strings, which is good, because we even popped one ourselves, and extra discs. These, of course, are wooden. They fall. You can even put that, you can put like powder on this board. There's a certain kind of powder you can put on to make this stuff go even faster. Um, and then you just put all the stuff in this bag, draw it, put it in the box. So, it's good quality, very expensive, but you have to find a place to store it. The rules themselves, um, there's English rules. There, I had to look up stuff online because they weren't really that clear, and I'm still not even sure. It says instead of scoring points, 
So you can decide not to score points at all and put them in the defense zone, put things in here where you can like block pins from other people and stuff. Uh, I forgot to mention that, you know, you can kind of try to, so if you someone else is about to win, that's usually when that happens. But um, other than that, I mean, the, the rules could have been a little clearer, it's, but that's how you play. Well, that's the game. I don't know that this is a game for many people because of the price of the game. And the fact I don't think it's really available in America yet. Well, I mean, even my copy, as much as I like this sort of thing, where am I going to put it? I mean, you could put it in your, you know, in your den or something like that. For me, this game is going to Dice Tower Con, where you can play it at a convention. That's a, a good place to keep and store games like these. It's, it's a lot of fun and stuff. But... It is an interesting idea. It's not a totally new concept. I played this exact style game before. Uh, we have a game, I forget the name of it, a lawn game where we were throwing uh, wooden stick at other sticks and the scoring's the same way. You get a point if you knock over, a point for each one you knock over unless you knock only over one, in which case you get the points of that number. There's some more strategy here and the whole snapping it and shooting it around and bouncing it off. You can play with one where you get extra points if you bounce it off walls before you knock over pins. I actually really like that. That concept, that's fun because it, it has you do more trick shots and things like that. And that getting to an exact number, that's very dart-ish. You know, many games of darts do that. So I don't know who this is going to appeal to. It's a neat game to watch. It's a fun game to play. When I brought it to a game night, people lined up all over to play it. But it's probably a little too bulky for most people to have. But it's something to, be, something to look forward to anyway. Or if you're at a convention, you might want to try it. And maybe for some of you, it, this has attracted you enough. You're like, hey, I definitely want to get this one and add it to my collection and have, pull it out, you know, on a table. And in that case, go for it. That's Finn Billiards. Dice Tower Judgment approved. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Yeah.